All right, guys, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. Modern Warfare Review. We're going to be talking about everything in this game. We're going to be talking about single player as well as multiplayer. But the video is going to be heavily focused in on the multiplayer experience because the campaign is a relatively short four to five hour experience. And while I do want to say it is great, the thing that I go to play for Call of Duty is the multiplayer. That's essentially what makes me come back to Call of Duty year after year is the ability to go and hop in, get some frags, go ahead and get some of those cool kill streaks and uh, just wreak havoc. And I enjoy playing with some of you guys over my live stream. A lot of you guys did come in and say, is this game worth buying? What's your review? What's your thoughts? And I'm here to go ahead and give it to you guys. But I do want to say in this video, I will kind of take into consideration a lot of what the community has to say because Essentially, they tried to listen to the community and they always mentioned that we've looked at what the community has to say about the previous Call of Duty games and uh, some of these complaints uh, will be addressed here and I want to go ahead and mention that we will be taking a look at what other Call of Duty players had to say. So let's go ahead and pause it right here and go ahead and talk a little bit about it. So, Going into the beta, I felt like the game was very, very campy. If we look at what some people had to say about the game, it's the worst Call of Duty ever, and it really comes down to everyone complaining about the campy. I mentioned this also when I did my beta review for the game. In my final beta review, I said, like, if they can work out on the sprint in and out times, reduce the punishment for the player that wants to rush, specifically the attachments going into it, it really would make the game so much more enjoyable and less frustrating to play. But it seems like it's definitely a problem. If you look at what some of the top Call of Duty uh, channels are saying, it's a camping problem. Camper's paradise. People throwing claymores every single area. You can't move. And that's exactly how the game feels. And I definitely share some of the opinions that a lot of other Call of Duty YouTubers have had, as well as looking at some of one of the more famous Call of Duty uh, content creators. Like, for example, Nadeshot. We're looking at what Scump has to say. Karma, as well as Formal. There's a lot of things over here that I really feel like should be looked at and addressed in this video. So anyways, let's go ahead and continue with some gameplay in the background. And then I want to go ahead and hop into what other people in the Call of Duty community have been kind of essentially complaining about. But uh, anyways, first off, uh, as far as the campaign goes, like I mentioned before, it is relatively short. There's like three or four missions that are absolutely amazing and I think will be a really good point in the Call of Duty franchise. But there's a lot of moments where it's just the similar Call of Duty stuff that you've seen every single year. But nonetheless, there are really cool moments uh, in this uh, campaign in particular. I don't want to go ahead and showcase off any campaign or spoilers, uh, so I'll just leave that down below if you guys do want to go ahead and watch all the campaign. I did finish it, and it is a pretty good experience, and it definitely feels like this Call of Duty game kind of took it a step further in what they were kind of trying to portray and show in uh, some of the uh, gameplay here. But again, I really wanted to focus this video up on the multiplayer experience. Um, while there is technically the Spec Ops mode that's back, I've never really a fan of just fighting off waves of enemies. I really enjoy fighting off uh, other players because uh, I feel like that that's a little bit more challenging, but it is there and I feel like that that experience is just kind of there for me. I, I did briefly play it. I ended up not staying for the full game because I just don't like fighting off waves of enemies. Again, this video is primarily focused in on the multiplayer core experience, but I do want to say it is there and it is technically working because sometimes games in, you know, 2019 or even like a couple years ago, like they just never launch uh, fully working, right? Like we're missing parts of the game and they get added later down the line, but it does function properly. But anyways, first off, I really want to say that this game feels like it's modern Claymore boots glued to the ground. That's literally how I feel with this game as far as the game being super, super campy. But uh, anyways, I feel like the 2v2 mode is pretty fun and Ground War is okay at times. Uh, there are certain times where it just feels like you're unable to move on certain maps. Well, there's only two maps for Ground War. Uh, but uh, sometimes you'll just get hit from super, super far away, a guy camping on a building. And, and those uh, frustrating moments still will exist in Ground War. But for the most part, I do enjoy the 2v2 mode. And I think that that's actually the better way to play this game. I feel like I enjoy the game a lot more uh, when I'm playing in the 2v2 mode. I feel like usually the better players will be able to win in the 2v2 without like sitting there camping waiting for footsteps but the way that this game was designed is supposed to be more tactical as they put it basically this the, the way to put it is basically campy uh if you want to rush you can't do it in this game i mean every single youtuber has talked about it this game it favors the camper 100 percent and the thing is is that if i wanted to play tactical like rainbow six or battlefield or csgo 
I would play those games, but I don't really enjoy those games nearly as much as Call of Duty. That's why every year I go ahead and pick up the more recent Call of Duty game to check out what's new. And with this Call of Duty game, if you're interested in more of like a review aspect, like what does this Call of Duty game offer that other Call of Duty games don't? I would honestly say this game just feels more campy than any of the previous Call of Duty games. And while some people do like that, I know it's kind of subjective, um, I just personally don't. And I don't really feel like that that's a new game mechanic. Um, there is this kind of Mount Lean system. Technically they had it in Ghost. It was b later banned in competitive in Ghost and then later removed in the future Call of Duty games because people complained about the whole lean feature, which it's kind of brought back. A lot of things in this Call of Duty games is basically things that were removed in previous Call of Duty games or kind of altered for a reason, but they decided to bring them back. I think what they were really trying to do with this game is bring some of the older Call of Duty fans back to the game that uh, maybe didn't like the more uh, recent Call of Duty games. But anyways, I really feel like it lost the core essence of COD. It feels more, more like Rainbow or Battlefield than I would say the previous Call of Duty games. Um, but the reason why I want to play COD is to hop in and just rush. That's what I like with this game compared to previous uh, like FPS games that I've played, like you know, like Rainbow or let's say uh, even Battlefield. You have to play those games a little bit slower. You can't rush in, and I like rushing. So if, if you like to rush, I can't really recommend this game at all. But I think one thing that they really focus in on is basically the sound design, and they made so many sounds really well that they really wanted to show that off and that's why the camping is so huge is because they want people to hear those footsteps and be able to react to them and kind of appreciate what they worked on right uh the sound is really great in this game like honestly for the sound in this game i would give it like a six out of five if i could because the sounds are so dang loud and very very crisp and you can hear exactly where people are coming from in this game that's why everyone camps so hard um but so we'll get into the graphics and like gameplay and stuff like that but i, I first i want to say the sound is excellent in this game like it's it's too good, essentially. Um, but I really want to talk about the complaints that I've had, and I want to go ahead and actually get some feedback from other Call of Duty um, content creators. And I feel like the people that designed this game didn't play the game. If you play this game, or even the beta, for one hour, you would understand that the camping is just too much. It's irrelevant in every single lobby. People do it, and it's just frustrating to go ahead and play. And I feel like if the developers actually played, they should have been able to see this miles away. But sometimes what happens when these games have so many different people working on so many different aspects, they're not playing their part in the game as far as actually playing. I remember uh, there was a, uh, a basic screenshot of Vonderhaar not even playing the multiplayer game uh, of Black Ops 4 and people were like, dude, they don't even play their own games. And there was really no response to that. I'm sure he did play the game, but essentially like at its full launch, maybe he didn't play it. Maybe he played it at, at different uh, iterations of the game, different patches, but there's definitely a problem with the camping in this game. And it feels like if they played the game, they would understand why people are complaining so much about the camping. Let's listen to what Mark of J had to say about this. Do the developers even play Call of Duty? <laughs> he said this, and like this, this video is excellent. I'm gonna link all the videos that I'm mentioning down below in the pinned comment. But really what it comes down to is everyone's complaining about this. Uh, <laughs> Call of Claymore, Modern Campfire. It definitely, definitely feels like that. And that's what everyone's really complaining about. Um, and he even says that like, because these people are camping so hard, that's not like a, a skill mechanic. That's just what people call noobs. Because when you're bad at a game or you're doing bad in Call of Duty, what do you do? You play a little bit slower, you camp because you want to maintain that KD, right? But at the end of the day, like I can go ahead and keep up a good KD if I just sit there and camp. I mean, look at this gameplay over here. Look at the average KD ratios for a lot of the players in the game. They're averaging like a 1.5. If you're like, if you're like a, a two or maybe even like a two to four KD Call of Duty player from like previous CODs, you go into this game, you'd be slapped with a 1.5 if you try to actually rush. And I think that they're trying to make it more casual. They want more people to be able to play the game. And I think that that's their central goal with uh, how the game is being kind of uh, ran. I mean, if you look at Black Ops 4, that game it catered towards casuals super hard with the specialist abilities. Definitely, definitely caters towards casuals. But uh, let me go ahead and give you guys what Nadeshot had to say about this game. Made a game that caters to casual players, but they're hosting a league where teams pay 25 million. <laughs> He's basically kind of mocking them because the game is 100% for casuals because the way the game is basically showing 
off its, I guess, mechanics is just sit there and wait for someone. It's not entertaining to watch, especially for esports, to watch someone sit there on a heady and just wait until someone walks by and they can go ahead and limit him. Watch most of the deaths in any Call of Duty streamers, uh, like streams, and you'll see most of the time when anyone's dying, the other player doesn't even get to interact with them. They are actually dying before they even get to basically take a shot because the sprint in and out time is too low. The time to kill is way too fast. And on top of that, it just favors camping. What, what downside do you have by camping? <laughs> none. What are the uh, upsides of rushing? Absolutely none. You get hit by a claymore. People listen to your footsteps. And on top of that, the sprint in and out time is just way too long. Um, this is one of the best. I think he's one of my favorite uh, Call of Duty players of all time. This is Skump. Uh, really great player, and look what he had to say about this game. I'm getting super frustrated just because you can't run around and try to fry people in this game. Exactly. That's the problem with this game. You have to sit or sit there and wait in camp. If you do that, it's just not fun, and it feels very frustrating is the best word to put out there. Because if you look at, again, a lot of different Call of Duty YouTubers, Sometimes they try to play it safe, right? Because sometimes they do work with Activision and they're trying to keep and maintain that relationship. And while I do want to say that in the first part of my video, I will be complaining a lot about things, but it's to give the game cr uh, uh, criticism on things that they can actually fix here. Uh, but at the same time, I'll be real with you guys. I think that this game absolutely needs work with the sprint and out times and the camping that exists in the game. And on top of that, the maps of this game, they look like they were designed for advanced warfare with the three and four stories here. It just feels like this game might have been designed with jetpacks and then scrapped later down the line because we all know Black Ops 4 originally had jetpacks, but then they had to modify the game to not have jetpacks and modify the maps. And it feels like with all of these uh, elevations and like these buildings, they just... It's almost like you're playing with jetpacks all over again. And I personally don't mind jetpacks. Like in Black Ops 3, the jetpacks were perfectly fine. And people complain about like needing to look up in the air to shoot someone. But at the same time, now you have to look at every single little window and it's super slow. So I, I just feel, again, frustrated just like Scum. But look what Karma had to say about this. Good with the maps. Good maps are such a huge thing, dude. The most part of game could suck, but if there's decent maps, I mean, you're in a good position. But... They're not good. They're not good, exactly. I, I feel like there's no maps in Modern Warfare where like, dude, I cannot wait to play on this map. There's no standoff, raid, rust. Like, there's not a very iconic map. I mean, I, technically they're going to add in Terminal, but like, at the same time, this is what matters at launch. People look at what's out right now, and that's what they're going to make their decision on. Um, now, this one is a little bit more vocal here. This is uh, Formal, which is another uh, really good Call of Duty player. Let me back it up just a little bit here, because he gets really heated here. And I totally understand his frustration with the map design here. Let's just listen to what he had to say. With the changes. Someone actually got paid to fucking make this map, and then also got co-signed by a bunch of other people who are also paid to make maps. I think this was fucking good. Are you kidding me? Now, to me... Dude, these maps, they, they are, they, they do definitely need a lot of work. And I hope that they get that work, uh, eventually. Um, I think that they're not gonna essentially change the maps that currently exist, but I think what they plan to do is with the DLC maps, maybe take in that feedback that we all had to say about this game. But I, I, again, I feel like a lot of things went backwards in this game. Let me go ahead and actually explain some of those. So why is Dead Silence not a perk? Like... I don't get it. Like, on every Call of Duty game, there's always some type of form of dead silence. And they're just like, no, we just make those footsteps super loud. And on top of that, why does Ghost work with camping? I, I don't get that. These are things that were all, like, added into Call of Duty uh, for reasons and basically changed. Like, Ghost, if you want Ghost to work, you can't camp. And then on top of that, why did they change the minimap? We, we already complained about the minimap in the beta. They kind of changed it, but just bring back the minimap. Let people know where, uh, kind of a general idea where the enemies are so they want to go push forward. Now people are spawning in, looking at, like, every single direction, looking backwards at their spawns because, one, well, the spawns in this game are terrible. But the thing is that launched with every Call of Duty game, even with betas, I feel like the, the spawns, th those will get fixed, I feel like, for the most part, right? But there are times where I've seen, like, literally a player will spawn right in front of me. And it's super frustrating for that player, and I totally get it. But uh, I, I just feel like that that is something that can definitely be fixed. But definitely fix the minimap. And the reason why they had uh, kill streaks uh, originally changed to score streaks was for a reason, right? They wanted people to play the OBJ, but now people just don't care about OBJ. They just want that KD. They want to go ahead and get their score streaks. But you know what? They're not going to go ahead and play objective because there's no incentive to. What's the point? Get, get, getting wood, getting more XP when you have no prestige system too, which is another story I can get uh, get into. But for the most part, I just feel like there's so many things that are just backwards. Like I don't know why they would be like, you know what? 
we're just going to remove the prestige system. <laughs> like, why? I, I, again, it's not something that I care about that much, but I know some people complain about that, and I know everyone has different complaints, but at the same time, there's just so many things that are just, like, backwards. Um, the mount system, I think, is terrible. It works in the, uh, the, the single player, and uh, the whole, like, door mechanic works in the single player. It was kind of cool in the night vision maps for the campaign. Again, another cool thing in multi, uh, or in single player that should not have been added into multiplayer. Like, who wants these doors to open in and out? Like, what are you going to do? Go go into a room with a door, close it so as soon as it opens up, oh, they opened up the door. I know exactly where he's at. Again, supports camping. Too many things just support camping way too much in this game. Um, but, uh, again, I feel like that this game, it needs to look at the map. You don't need a... A building with four different levels, the maps are way too big, make the maps smaller, make the engagements a lot more frequent in the game. If you look at majority of games like highest kills, we're talking like anywhere from like 15 to 20 on average of the, the best player in the lobby. And he can even get like, he can get a chopper gunner. I've gotten chopper gunner games where I'm ending it with like 20 kills because like, not, not 20 kills with the chopper gunner, I mean like just 20 kills, that's it. I get the chopper gunner and then that's it because everyone's camping. If I want to get the chopper gunner, I gotta sit in a room, throw up those claymores and just wait for those footsteps. That's the problem that I have with this game, uh, essentially. Um, again, you had the lean mechanic in Ghost, but you removed it and you banned it in competitive for what reasons? Because people didn't like it. Uh, and again, it just goes backwards. And there's so, so many things that are just like, just unquestionably wrong if you, if you played the game. Why in multiplayer, would you have to shout, I'm planting a claymore? Like, yeah, just let everyone know where you're at. Like, again, it supports, uh, well, technically with the claymore, I don't mind it that much, but when it's like, hey guys, I'm reloading. Okay, he's reloading, time to go push. Like, I mean, those are the very few times that I think that, like, they kind of encourage it. But at the same time, I'm planting a claymore. You rush, oh, you're getting hit by that claymore. It doesn't matter if you have EOD, you put it in yourself at the point where the person only needs to put one bullet into you and you're gone anyway. So, I know, I feel like a lot of things should be looked at. I feel like the EOD just, you take no damage specifically from claymores. And on top of that, most Call of Duty games, the claymore or like the bouncing betty or any of the things that would um, uh, basically uh, like insta-gib you, they're unlocked later down the line. And this COD, no, it's like one of the first things that you unlock. And look at this, we're running into time limit because people are camping so hard. Go to majority of FFA games and tell me that they're actually ending, not because the time is ending, but the players are actually getting the kill limit. It doesn't happen. Like, there's so many unquestionably wrong gameplay design decisions that if anyone played the game, they would see. And that's why Marco J was like, dude, do the developers even play this game? Because within the first hour, you get too frustrated by the camping, the claymores, and the people just sitting there not moving in the game. And the game's not ending via kills. They're just ending because the time limit is reached, right? But I know I, I did complain about this game a lot, honestly, and I, I do want to offer them suggestions to fix the game. But let me go ahead and actually go over what I like first. So what I did like, I like that you can actually go into a game and change your classes mid-match. That's awesome. Um, and if you want to leave the lobby, you can pull out your friends with you. I think that's awesome, that's excellent, but again, it doesn't really change the game's core problems. And going into some of like the upgrades with the gun, they mentioned, oh, they are adding so many attachments on every single, like hundreds of attachments. You go to the most attachments, it's like reduced recoil, and you go to like uh, other things that are like, um, increase like sprint and out times, it always has some type of negative, right? But at the, at the end of the day, you're gonna go ahead and pick up basically the same things that are every single Call of Duty game, the like long barrel or like wh whatever, like the, the core things in most COD games are quick draw, long barrel, sock. But all those, most most of the time, they're gonna have some type of negative effect. And some of these things don't even work properly. Like, some of the sights don't actually change ADS. You can increase extended mag, and it says that it changes your movement speed. But some of these things don't even work, which was back in the beta, they mentioned that some of these things don't work properly. But yo, in your full game, they still don't work properly. The beta definitely felt like the full game, is honestly what I'm trying to say. And it really does definitely feel like it. Um, I like the campaign. I do wanna say that there's a lot of great moments in the campaign, so if you are, interested in video review for the campaign, this game's awesome. It's short, but you know, sometimes people are okay with playing a game for a few hours and that's all they need, right? Sometimes people wanna go back, play at a hard difficulty. I didn't think that there was any Easter egg, like um, unlocks, like, you know, in Black Ops, or, you know, you can find those Intel and stuff like that. Bonus things, that that's, that would be kind of cool. I, again, I can't say for sure if there isn't any, but I didn't find any personally. Um, but campaign was cool. If you're just interested in campaign, I can recommend it. If you're interested in the core multiplayer experience and you like to rush, I can't recommend this game. If you love to play super, super duper campy, you'd like to not move and get like, you know, maybe 10 to, to 15 kills a game. Sure. Uh, I can kind of recommend the game, but uh, at the end of the day, I want to offer solutions for uh, fixing the game. Uh, but at its current state, this is how I feel about it. 
fixing the footsteps, uh, making it so, like, if you have Dead Silence, they, this is a more recent change, but uh, at the launch of this game, if you ran Dead Silence, you, they could still hear your footsteps. What the heck is Dead Silent mean if they can hear your footsteps? I don't know. But again, they did fix that. But just make Dead Silence a perk, okay? The maps need to be fixed, but they're not going to change the current maps. Just release newer maps, take it into consideration, making them smaller, making them so there's not like four different levels on a building, uh, so people don't know where the heck is is uh, everyone at. Make it so the mini-map is normal, just like in the previous Call of Duty games where if you shoot and you don't have a suppressor, you're going to appear as a little dot. Just change that. And make camping not the only way to play. They mentioned that, you know, call, this Call of Duty game is going to support lots of different play styles. Uh, dude, it's a lot. It's straight up. You camp or you get shot from the back. That's the game, pretty much, honestly. Uh, visually, I feel like this game did kind of get a little bit better. Um, it is technically, I, I believe, on a newer engine. Graphics on this game are probably fine. It's, it's nothing like... Oh my gosh, this is like super new, but the graphics are good. I don't think that I would complain about this game visually at all. There's a lot of small details, even in the uh, single player game. I think that they're great. I would give the graphics basically like five out of five. The sound again, six out of five because the footsteps are so loud. Um, the campaign, I'd probably give it like a four out of five. It's pretty solid. Uh, like I said, I like the campaign. The 2v2, I'd probably give it like a four out of five, but the core modes in TDM, I put un unplayable out of five. Like, I got so frustrated playing Modern Warfare that I hopped back on Overwatch in 2019 in Double Shield meta. Like, I just don't enjoy the game. I play Call of Duty, and I think a lot of other people play Call of Duty to hop in and have some fun. But am I having fun playing this game? Absolutely not. Like, I was messing around with the shield and messing with the 725 over here. Um... And like, I was thinking about show. I have multiple gameplays of Chopper Gunner, but I, I wanted to show off how, how OP the shotgun was, which I didn't mention. The 725 is absolutely ridiculous with its range. And especially since you're camping, like most of the time, no one's gonna be able to compete with you. Uh, and, and like, this is maybe the only class I feel like I can kind of rush with because I can just go walk up to them and just, oh yeah, one shot, outplayed, outskilled. But uh, honestly, that's how I feel about the game. But I hope things do get changed. Uh, but like, I mean, I, I can show gameplay off of like, in fact, what the heck? We have audio going over here. What the heck? What, what is playing the audio? Okay, in one of these. But like, I, I have gameplay. Oh, this is the, the the music that we were listening to, by the way. Just in case anyone did want to listen to it, it's it's the Path of Exile soundtrack. It's not Modern Warfare soundtrack. But like, I I have gameplays of me getting the Juggernaut. Like, it, it's it, it, it's it's not like I would say a uh, I guess um, a a a gameplay where it's an average gameplay. I want to showcase off like an average gameplay of just showing off how campy the game is. Like, I I go on and play Black Ops Four literally. Because I was so frustrated, I ended my stream. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna go ahead and hop on, uh, you know, BO4. First game, get a gunship, and I'm just like, okay, this is way more enjoyable. I'm rushing around, I'm having fun, and in Modern Warfare, I felt like I could never do that. Um, the game was just super campy, and it just it it really is a problem with the game and I feel like they need to address it in the future and the reason why I want to make this video is not to just complain but also a lot of you guys did want my feedback and my thoughts on the game so to wrap it up here's my thoughts game is way too campy to really enjoy the game single player is great that's my review if you're interested in single player you'll have fun if you're interested in multiplayer and you want to rush not not the game for you chief but anyways hopefully you guys enjoy the video and thanks for sticking out with all the ranting here and if you enjoyed the video and want to see more call of duty content heck maybe we'll go back to uh cod 4 uh bo4 BO that is uh and get you guys some more gameplay of that because they are doing a new update and there's supposed to be new weapons and new weapon balances uh so i'm interested to see what they do with that but if you guys do want to see that and more call of duty content maybe in the future i can recommend this game but at the current state i feel like it needs some work but thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more cod other gaming content hit subscribe turn on the bell and you'll definitely see more thanks for tuning in have a good one i'm signing out peace